Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to talk about five ways to look 10 years younger in your wigs. Coming up. So I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm over 50. I'll be 52 this year. And I embrace my current age. I'm not afraid of it, I am not ashamed of it, but I still wanna look my best and live my best life. When you look your best, you have more confidence. And when you have more confidence, you have more success um, in life. So sometimes looking 10 years younger in your wigs is a matter of making the right choices for yourself. Select a style that is really going to work for you. Not what looks good on Taz or not what looks good on the model in the photographs, uh, which are probably half our age. <laughs> um, but matter of embracing your own personality, your own sense of style, your own statement piece on your head. So a lot of us wear wigs because the current hair that we have really ages us. Most of us would agree that wigs make you look younger. They take years off of your appearance, and there's more than one reason for that. My hair is very thin and frizzy and curly, and it does not represent on the outside how I feel on the inside. So in selecting a style to make you look younger in your wigs, I suggest that you get something going on around your face. Um, whether it's fringe, it's curl, it's layering, whatever it is, go for the, go for the fringe. Uh, sometimes when you have a straight style, just stick straight with no layers, it can really drag down the face and it can accentuate uh, kind of the aging process in your face. So when I select a style to wear, I always try to choose something that frames the face nicely. And even if it's straight, you can get a little bit of fringe, a little bit of texture going around the face that helps detract uh, from some of the aging in the face. So number two, consider the length that you are choosing to make yourself look younger in wigs. So if you're choosing a long straight style because that's what you wore back in the 70s and really loved it um, and had fond memories of it, that might not work for you today. As you age, your hair changes. It is, It has less diameter. It changes texture because of the, the pigment being lost inside of the hair shaft. So shortening up your style may be the perfect solution to looking younger. Always consider that. And regardless of whether you are wearing wigs for hair loss or just uh, changing up your style and having fun, consider going to about shoulder length or above. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at how much younger that makes you look. So number three of ways to look younger in your wigs is to select the right color. As you get older, your skin loses pigment. It becomes a little more dry um, and ashier. So uh, you'll want to adjust your hair color accordingly. If you've always been a brunette and you love brunettes, I'm using this as an example. Um, as your skin ages, maybe loses a little pigment, you lose pigment in your eyebrows and your, your eyelashes and your skin. You may want to just lighten up your brunette a little bit with some highlights. That doesn't mean you have to go blonde. It doesn't mean you have to go gray. Um, but if you're used to brunette, but you're just experiencing a little, a little more aging, try adding a little bit of blonde highlights to the brunette. So it'll help you make you look a little bit younger because those brighter, those lighter highlights are going to blend a little better with an aging skin tone. So number four is makeup. We have to consider makeup when it comes to wearing wigs. Um, as you age and, and your skin tone changes, your makeup is obviously going to change. And uh, when you start to wear wigs though, wigs uh, in them, within themselves give you a little bit of a more youthful appearance. So you can get away, I think, with a little more makeup when you're wearing wigs than maybe when you're not. Um, but what I suggest is to give yourself a little bit of youthful glow. No matter what your age is, your skin tone, no matter the condition of your skin, I think we can all use a little bit of blush just to bring, it looks like you're bringing a little bit of youthfulness back to that skin tone. Now my favorite is this confidence in your glow. And this is the natural um, palette. Um, it's more of a pink based palette it's an, kind of an ombre, which starts with a highlighter. It has the blush and then the bronzer here. 
And all I do is just take a couple of swipes, tap my brush, and then I go in an E pattern over my forehead, my cheeks, and chin. Forehead, cheeks, and chin. However, and I will ask you this question, let me know in the comments below. If you had to make a choice between wearing makeup or wearing wigs, what would you choose? I don't even have to think about it, guys. I would choose wigs hand down, hands down every single time. As I mentioned in number one, the fringe around the face can really hide a lot. <laughs> so um, I would rather have a wig that helps soften my face than to um, have all kinds of makeup. The number one and final way to make wigs make you look 10 years younger it has nothing to do with the wigs. It's what's under the wig. And that is your state of mind. That is your attitude towards life in general um, and your general state of happiness with yourself. And I want you to have confidence. Now, wigs have helped to give that to me. I mean, I had all the raw material, um, but my other hair situation before I wore wigs kind of brought me down. Once that barrier was removed for me, I just really blossomed and came to life. I mean, it was all here. All I needed was a little magic hat with hair <laughs> to help bring it forward. So what I want you to do is really embrace yourself. Understand that uh, wearing wigs is more than just the vanity part of things. It, it really is about your own joy, your own happiness, your own self-confidence. And never, ever, ever feel guilty about investing in yourself because guess what? You are going to be a happier person and you're going to go out in the world. You're gonna spread a positive message and affect people in a positive way. Your family is going to benefit from it, your friends, and of course yourself. There's a couple more things I want you to do in this category, and that is I want you to smile. I don't want you to just smile with your lips. I want you to smile with your eyes. I want those eyes to sparkle underneath that wig. So whether I have makeup on or I don't, when I'm looking at you, I mean, I've got, I've got curiosity, I've got interest, I've got confidence uh, in my eyes. So if you smile, not only with your mouth, but with your eyes, it's gonna come across very authentic. And it really does have an effect on your own self-esteem. There are plenty of studies that show that just by smiling and using those muscles in your face, creates uh, an internal response that you're not even aware of. It can help lift people out of depression. It can uh, give people a better impression of you so the feedback is going to be different. It just starts into motion, a very positive cycle. And the last thing is, and this will be the last thing that I share about how to look younger, 10 years younger, in your wigs, and that is move with purpose. I don't care if you're just walking to the mailbox. I don't care if you're walking from the bedroom to the kitchen. Um, I don't care if anybody even sees you. Walk with purpose behind you, like you're confident that you have a goal in mind, um, that you're productive, that you have energy. All of that is so youthful. Uh, and so an onlooker would think that you're at least 10 years younger than you are just by the way you move. So get out there and move. <laughs> move with purpose in your wigs and you'll look at least 10 years younger than your natural age. Again, everybody, I just want to stress the idea that I am not against aging. I embrace my age. I have wrinkles like everybody else. I have hormone problems like any other woman my age. But what I'm choosing to do is to embrace it. I'm okay with it. If I didn't have wigs, if I didn't have makeup, um, I would still be okay with this. I would, because my value and my worth comes from inside. And in my 50 some years on this earth, I have learned so much. There's so many lessons. There's so many challenges that I have, um, I have triumphed over. And I'm proud of that. And I can wear that on my face after my son's accident last year. I think I sprouted at least a couple thousand new gray hairs. Um, but I am better for having the challenge of, of, of rising above circumstances and, and really taking a deep look at the lesson in everything in life. I hope this makes sense and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
on the five ways to look 10 years younger in your wigs. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.